This is what we know right now. Brian Roden is facing three counts of murder, three counts of aggravated assault, and two counts of kidnapping. He was arrested just hours ago. We have special live team coverage as we try to bring transparency and answers to complicated questions with this investigation. So let's get started with 11 Ives' John Shearick. He is live for us tonight outside of the Cobb County Jail. John? Brian Anthony Roden in custody, and he will be booked here at the Cobb County Jail. As loved ones of those he's accused of killing, express relief and ask police exactly what led up to the triple homicide. Cobb County Police Chief Tim Cox making one simple announcement Thursday night, a monumental break in the case. Police, he said, have the man who killed three people this past Saturday. On July 8th, 2021, detectives from our Crimes Against Persons Unit secured an arrest warrant for the lone shooter who's now been identified as Brian Anthony Roden. Brian Anthony Roden arrested in Chambly late Thursday afternoon. It turns out Roden was actually arrested early Sunday, hours after the triple homicide. Roden was jailed in DeKalb County, charged with DUI and false ID and no tag, but his name had not come up yet in connection with the homicides, so he was released Tuesday night. I asked Chief Cox when investigators first became aware of Roden as a possible suspect in the homicides. His name came up. Within a, within a few days of the investigation. Beginning of investigation. Chief Cox would not say what it was that led them to charge Roden, but he says Roden is the man who drove a pickup truck onto the Pine Tree Country Club golf course Saturday afternoon with two bodies in the back of the pickup. The chief says Roden had killed them. Paul Pearson and Henry Valdez kidnapped and killed them that day. Then the chief says Roden shot golf pro Gene Sillers in the head when Sillers walked up to see what was going on. Now, the chief said these were such, quote, such horrible and horrific crimes. He's not discussing yet what the motive might have been. He's not discussing what sort of relationship there might have been among Roden and the two men in the back of the pickup truck he's accused of killing. And police are not yet discussing Roden's criminal history. Back to you.